Happy Earth Day! Hi, I'm LB Munoz, artist, educator, and CEO of Spectacular Spectacular Events and Catering. I work very closely with the Keeney Park Sustainability Project because I recognize the importance of environmental justice and food sustainability in Hartford and beyond. One of the ways that we can help the environment to reduce our carbon footprint is by eating locally. We can do that in a variety of ways, by shopping at local farms and farmers markets, growing our own produce, or by eating things that grow around us naturally, or foraging. This time of year is the perfect time to take a walk in the parks and rivers around Hartford, where you can spot some of the first wild vegetables of spring. It's a great family activity, and besides being delicious, it's free. Forage food, like ramps, fiddleheads, morels, mushrooms, are really expensive at specialty stores, but if you can find them yourself, free food! I'm going to show you how to find and cook some wild vegetables with things you probably already have right here in your home. One of the very first wild vegetables of spring is a fiddlehead. They're called that because they look like the tuning heads on a violin or fiddle. Fiddleheads are the new baby shoots of the ostrich fern. They look like this when they're peeking out. They have a very short window of time, mid-April until mid-May, if we're lucky. They are low in calories, high in vitamin C and iron. You can find them in swampy areas, near streams or riverbeds. You've probably seen them on your walks around Hartford. They're funny looking, but they taste wonderful, like a nutty asparagus broccoli thing. You can cook them a variety of ways, saute them, steam them, boil, roast, but be sure to cook them. They can give you a very upset stomach if you eat too many of them raw. I like them just simply sauteed as a side dish, but they're great sauteed with other vegetables like mushrooms or red peppers. You can add them to pasta or risotto or even to your stir fry. We're going to saute them up right now. For this recipe, you're going to need two tablespoons of butter, one garlic clove slivered, not chopped, and about a tablespoon of salt. You're also going to need a hefty bunch of fiddleheads. You're going to want to make sure to rinse your fiddlehead very well. You want to be sure to get out any of the dirt or foresty things that have come back in there with you. Then you're going to take a knife and just underneath where the head of the fiddle is, you're going to cut this rough stalk from the sweet top. Simple as that. Then we're going to quickly blanch them. We're going to have a bowl full of ice water. We're going to get a, a pot of water up, up to a boil. We're going to throw our cut, trimmed, and cleaned fiddle heads in for one minute only. We'll drain them and we'll plunge them into the ice water. That way they'll stop cooking and still retain their color and their crispness. And we'll melt our butter over medium. Butter is melted, we'll add our fiddleheads. You're going to let this go for about five minutes just until the fiddleheads get a little softer. Then you're going to add your one clove of garlic and your salt. A couple pinches to taste. I'm using maybe a teaspoon here. Then I'm going to just give it a nice spin so that everything cooks evenly. And then I'm gonna leave it alone for about three minutes more or until the fiddleheads have just started to brown on the edges. And here we are. Saute fiddleheads. A little bit crunchy, a little bit garlicky, but totally tastes like spring.
Another spring delicacy are ramps. Ramps are like leeks or onions found in the wild, and you can find them pretty much everywhere. These are from right by the river in Hartford. Now is a great time to look for them because they'll be gone by early May. Make sure that they smell like onions when you pick them because there are lots of different shoots that look like this, but only these are the ones that are going to be delicious. Be careful not to over harvest them. Take just as much as you need. And when you cut them, you're going to cut them with a downward motion, leaving a, like a third of the bulb intact. The bulb is the white part on the bottom. You wanna leave that and the roots in the ground so that you'll have a new harvest next year when you're ready for ramp season. They taste like a, a milder, greener mix between garlic and onion. And they can be really garlicky or really mellow depending on how you cook them. They are an allium, which means they're from the same family as onion and garlic. And all of those are very good for your heart. They lower your blood pressure, they lower your cholesterol. These ramps are really high in vitamin C. In fact, if you had the same amount of ramps and oranges, the ramps would have more vitamin C than oranges. They can be roasted, grilled, they can be fried, you can use them fresh in salads or saute them anywhere that you would normally use garlic. I like to pickle them. They make a great pesto. Take a handful of ramps, take a handful of whatever kind of nut you like, a couple gloves of olive oil, and then some acid to brighten it up, maybe lemon or vinegar. Throw it in a food processor, and that can be saved forever. It's great on pasta or potatoes or chicken, anything really. But today I'm gonna to show you a super simple recipe for wild ramp rice. First, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have washed and rinsed off your ramps so that there's no trace of dirt or anything. If you've harvested them too close to the bulb, you wanna make sure to pull off any extra tendrils there. And then you're going to chop them. Very simple chop. I wanna make sure that I've got them pretty small because I'm cooking them with rice and I want them to be just a little bit larger than an individual kernel of rice when we're finished here. That way they'll really mix together well and I won't have any big leafy pieces that are overwhelming my rice. So, my rams are chopped and everything else you probably have in your house already. This recipe calls for one and a half tablespoons of salt, one and a half cups of water, one cup long grain white rice, and two tablespoons olive or vegetable oil. We're ready to make our rice. We're gonna start with about two tablespoons of olive oil. If you traditionally use garlic to start your rice, this is gonna be the same exact process. We're gonna let our olive oil get hot. We're gonna take our freshly cut ramps and throw it right in there. we're gonna saute them up. And we're gonna let them cook for about five minutes. Once they're nice and wilted and you can start to smell the garlic aroma, we're gonna make sure to add a good amount of salt, about a tablespoon. I can hear them start to sizzle and I can get the aroma right now. It's fantastic. Now that our ramps have taken on a dark, green color, we're going to add our rice. One cup of rice. And I'm going to stir that in with the rams, making sure to coat them with olive oil. And then we're going to toast these up just a little bit. We want them to be opaque when we put the water in. So we're going to toast that rice for about three minutes or so. Now that our rice has started to dry out a little bit, you can see that it's more white and less clear than it was before. We're gonna make sure to add a little bit more salt, maybe like half a teaspoon or so. Give that a nice little spin. We're gonna add our water, cup and a half of water. We're gonna turn up the heat. We're gonna let that baby come up to boiling temperature. Once the water comes up to a boil, we're gonna throw the top on. 
we're going to take the heat, turn it down to low to simmer, and we're going to step away for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you can check on your rice. Look how green it is. Give it a good spin. The smell is just wonderful. Nothing better than the smell of freshly cooked rice, but now it has this beautiful greeny garlic taste to it. And it looks like this. Here we are. Wild Ramp Rice. Color's beautiful, smells delicious, and it tastes great too. Now it's your turn. Head on out there and see if you can find these wild vegetables in the city of Hartford. Ramps and fiddlehead ferns will only be around for a few more weeks, so get on out there and find them. I'm LB with the Keeney Park Sustainability Project, wishing you a very happy Earth Day.